eating disorders don't always look like people expect them to. I see anorexia, I see bulimia, and these are like textbook, like made for TV movie style eating disorders. Um, but I also see a lot of stuff in between. Dr. Jocelyn Lebo, a Mayo Clinic child psychologist who specializes in treating eating disorders, says there are many behaviors that classify as disordered eating. She says she sees patients take eating healthy to an extreme, such as never eating carbs, fats, or snacks of any kind. Sometimes patients will exercise excessively. Many will regularly skip meals, while others hide food that they will only eat in private. Even extreme pickiness is considered an eating disorder. While these behaviors don't necessarily indicate an eating disorder, Dr. Lebo says if you notice unusual eating patterns, it's a good idea to get an assessment from a professional. If your kid is eating in a way that's not letting them be healthy. And by healthy, what I mean is they're either not eating enough to allow them to grow, or to allow them to have energy to do what they need to do. That's a problem. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Ian Roth.